Hey, what's up? It's Adam Hawk, and I can't make a good intro for this vlog. I don't know what to do. I'm not being very creative. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Everybody knows that cars are for driving, but it's also good for a lot of other things. Don't underestimate the storage capacities of a vehicle. So if you have a car or a truck or a creeper van, give candy to little kids, this video might help you out a little bit. Here's three random things that I always keep in my car. And screw the introduction to this video. Okay, we'll set the scene. You're sitting in a parking lot. Your movie doesn't start for 45 minutes. You and your bros are just sitting there waiting for the last one to get there that's always late, which is usually me. You don't feel like going inside and reserving the seats early because it's not busy and it's so nice out. Oh god, Adam's taking forever. Hey Kyle! Go long, brother. Sports equipment. You have no idea how many times sports equipment has come in handy. I keep a tennis racket and my tennis balls in my back seat at all times. I keep my bowling ball. Even though I suck, I keep a basketball. I keep a football, a ball pump, and a tee. A football tee, like a place kicking tee. In my trunk at all times. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but dude, try it. Keep it there. I hung out all day today with my coworkers, and we, we just broke it up. And a couple of them were having a girl problem. So I invited them back to the place that we worked, and we hung out for a while. We got some food, I got some cheesecake. Some random grown man paid for all of our meals for us. Shout out to that dude. We were just chilling in the parking lot where we work, and they were sitting in the bed of my friend Fred's truck. I pulled my car beside him, popped the trunk, and said, I'm gonna change your life. I'm like, what? What's this kid got in his trunk? Hey, Fred. Go long. We played football for two hours. It was amazing. It was a great time. I'm sweaty. Can you see sweat? Is there a sweat stain? It's, it should be gross. Maybe it's gone by now. It doesn't smell like it's gone. I'm just kidding. It smells good. Degree for men. I'm telling you, put a football in your trunk. When the moon hits your <sighs> Mouthwash. I'm a total dental hygiene freak. I hate bad breath. I hate morning breath. I hate smoker breath. I hate garlic breath. Any kind of bad breath. I hate it. I'm always chewing gum, I always have mints, and I always have mouthwash in my car. Now maybe that seems a little bit unnecessary, but I'm a young man, I live a fast life. I'm always in a hurry, and as a lot of you know, I do live off of McDonald's every day. Every freaking day. One McDouble ketchup, only medium fry, large sweet tea, light ice, a little bit of lemonade in the bottom. If the time when this community is correct, please pull through the next drive through window. Mm. And being a food server, we're not really allowed to chew gum on the floor. I like to sneak it anyways, my managers don't seem to care because I'm not like a bubble blow or anything annoying like that. Or one of those freaking girls that just walk around and blow one bubble and pop it like eight times. Oh, I hate that. Don't do that. What are you doing? Are you eating bubble wrap? Anyways, pain in my butt. And one I feel extra gross after eating McDonald's, right before I go into work and start schmoozing the 85 year old women. Mm -hmm. For bigger tips, of course. If you're a food server, you know how it goes. I don't want to smell like McDonald's. So, I sit out in the parking lot for a little bit and. <laughs> go inside, and I'm fresh to death. Notice anything different? Pretty obvious. A hoodie. Keep a hoodie in your back seat. Doesn't matter if you're not wearing it, it doesn't take up much seat. Much seat? I'm gonna keep that in the video because it was stupid. Even if it's 75 degrees outside, you never know, especially in Pennsylvania. And I mean especially in Pennsylvania. The weather fluctuates a lot. You never know when you're gonna wake up in the morning and wanna walk around in a speedo all day because it's 85 degrees and you're gonna go to bed and it's gonna be snowing. Just because that's how Pennsylvania is. We have to be prepared. Even if it's not hot outside, it's gonna save you. Friday night, there's a football game. It's not very chilly outside, but you're one of those kids that always wears a hoodie. You're walking around the football field with your friends, and all of a sudden, it starts to sprinkle. How terrible rain, oh my god. Oh no, the pretty girl that you were with doesn't have a hoodie and she's cold. Wait a second, you have one in your car. Give it to her, let her borrow it. 
girls love it when they wear our clothes. I don't know why, but they love it. As a bonus tip, always keep it smelling like your cologne. I'm pretty unpopular with the ladies, but I've got good ideas. Don't believe me, try it out. I'm telling you. Anyways, that's three random things that I always keep in my car. How about all you drivers out there? Did I miss anything? Is there something weird that you always keep in your car other than that body that's in your trunk? Tell me all about it. Tell me three things that you always keep in your trunk. I probably forgot some really good stuff. Maybe you can help me out. If this vlog helped you at all, make sure to post it around on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever social networks you're on, Google+, Plus, LinkedIn if it has a share thing. I don't care. I'm on pretty much every social network, but make sure you follow me on Twitter. The links will be below. I'll be posting a lot of good videos, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. Stick around for a while, please. If you want, you can even check out some of my old videos. I'm still participating in Vita, and I'm kicking its butt. Not really, I was behind all day. I actually had to make two videos today, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. You have an awesome day. Love you guys. Peace.